They were oceans apart, two vast civilizations, one in the heart of the Indian subcontinent, the other deep within the forests and mountains of the ancient Americas. No ships, no known routes, and yet, striking similarities have baffled historians for centuries. Shared symbols, echoes in language, Genetic whispers buried beneath centuries of soil and bone. Could there be a hidden thread, woven through time, that ties these distant worlds together? Now, for the first time, ancient DNA speaks louder than myths. It unveils a shocking possibility that the peoples of India and pre-Columbian America may share a deeper bond than we ever imagined. This isn't just speculation. This is science tearing down the borders of what we thought we knew. And it's leading to one of the most controversial revelations in modern archaeology. How could ancient travelers from India have influenced civilizations across the ocean long before Columbus ever set sail? For decades, scholars dismissed the idea. The distance was simply too great. Over 14,000 kilometers of treacherous ocean separating South Asia from the Americas. Yet, clues refused to disappear. In the sacred texts of India, there are tales of vast journeys and lands beyond the sea. Meanwhile, in the ruins of Mesoamerica and the Andes, archaeologists uncovered artifacts with motifs eerily reminiscent of ancient Hindu iconography. In 2016, an archaeological site in Bolivia revealed carvings resembling the chakra symbol, long considered exclusive to Indian tradition. Linguists noted parallels between ancient Dravidian and Quechua languages. And on both continents, myths spoke of sky gods, serpents, and golden cities. Coincidence or remnants of a forgotten encounter? As trade routes spread spices, gold, and ideas across Asia, is it possible that ancient seafarers from India reached the Americas? Thousands of years before Columbus, before the Vikings, even before the Polynesians? Now, scientists are re-examining everything, with DNA as their guide. It began with a skull. Unearthed in 2018, deep in the Peruvian highlands, the remains were initially catalogued as just another member of a lost Andean lineage. But something was off. The cranial structure, elongated yet refined, shared striking similarities not with local populations, but with ancient remains found thousands of miles away. In the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, a team of bioarchaeologists decided to run a full genomic sequence. The results were unexpected. While most markers matched indigenous South American ancestry, there was one fragment, small but unmistakable, that traced back to a lineage most commonly found in South Asia, a mutation rarely seen outside the Indian subcontinent. The finding was dismissed by some as contamination, a lab error perhaps, but then came another skull, and another, this time from Ecuador, and then Mexico, each with similar genetic anomalies tiny, ancient footprints pointing toward a hidden migration. Could these scattered fragments be the first whispers of an ancient voyage lost to history? The anomalies couldn't be ignored. A multinational team of geneticists, archaeologists, and historians formed a task force to investigate. Funded in part by the Max Planck Institute and a private foundation in India, they set out to compare over 5,000 ancient DNA samples from burial sites in both hemispheres. Their goal, to trace a possible migratory path that could explain the genetic overlap. But the journey was anything but smooth. Several samples were too degraded to analyze. Others came from politically sensitive dig sites, locked behind layers of bureaucracy. Meanwhile, skeptics launched attacks accusing the team of chasing pseudoscience. Still, the data piled up. Using advanced mitochondrial DNA mapping and Y-chromosome tracing, researchers began to see a faint, consistent pattern, a genetic marker known as M52, 
rare in the Americas but common among certain Indian populations, kept reappearing in pre-Columbian remains. To validate the findings, samples were blind tested in labs across Europe and East Asia. The results? Consistent, verifiable, unexplainable, at least by conventional historical models. Had the evidence of transoceanic contact been hidden in the blood of the ancients all along? In 2021, a breakthrough came from an unexpected source, a 4,000-year-old tooth preserved in a clay urn found near the ancient city of Harappa in modern-day Pakistan. The tooth's DNA was nearly intact when cross-referenced with the pre-Columbian samples from Peru and Mexico, researchers found a match, down to a specific haplogroup, M52b, a rare subclade previously thought to exist only in South Asia. But the twist was even deeper. Carbon dating of the American remains placed them at 1500 BCE, centuries before the Olmec civilization and over a millennium before any known transoceanic voyage. The data was clear. A fragment of Indian genetic lineage had crossed the ocean and planted itself in the New World. To eliminate any doubt, scientists applied isotopic analysis, tracking the trace elements embedded in bones and teeth. The signatures showed patterns of diet and environment consistent with lifetimes spent in the Americas, confirming these were an T immigrants, but descendants. Generations had passed. It wasn't just a visit, it was a settlement, a human bridge across the ocean lost to history, but now confirmed by science. Picture this over 3,500 years ago, a fleet of wooden vessels carved from teak, sealed with natural resin, pushes off from the ancient port of Lothal, a bustling hub of the Indus Valley Civilization. Loaded with spices, beads, cotton, and copper, the ships ride the monsoon winds, first hugging the coast of Arabia, then turning westward into uncharted waters. At the helm are navigators guided not by compasses, but by the stars and the rhythm of the sea. Weeks turn into months. Storms batter the fleet. Supplies dwindle. But then, land. A lush, unfamiliar coast. Modern-day Ecuador, or perhaps the Pacific shores of Mexico. The newcomers are greeted not with war, but with curiosity. Trade begins. Techniques are exchanged. Marriages occur. And over generations, a fragment of Indian heritage takes root in American soil. Local myths remember them as sky people, or bearded visitors. They bring new tools, new gods, new seeds. Their language is lost, but echoes remain in symbols, in stories, in genes. No maps record their voyage. No empire claimed the feat, but they were there, leaving behind clues in bones, in blood, and now in the hard data of modern science. This isn't legend. It's the silent legacy of a forgotten journey that rewrote human history. For centuries, history was written by empires, shaped by conquest, and limited by the maps of their time. But DNA doesn't lie. It doesn't care for borders or narratives. It preserves the truth in microscopic chains, silently waiting to be decoded. And now it speaks of an ancient voyage that connected two great civilizations not by conquest, but by curiosity, by trade, by human resilience. The connection between India and the ancient Americas was never carved in stone. It was etched in blood, in genes, passed down through generations who had no idea their origins would one day shake the foundations of what we thought we knew. And yet, here we are, witnessing history being reassembled one fragment at a time. So what other stories lie buried, waiting for science to reveal them? What other forgotten paths link the continents in ways we've never imagined? If this mystery intrigued you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more deep history revelations, and hit the bell so you never miss an ancient secret brought to light. 
because the past is only just beginning to speak.